It's the local newspaper, Knights Are Us. On the page of Quiz Solutions, the word Landgrave was circled. I talk inside it. <clears throat> testing, testing. Error, password incorrect. Fantastic, it's a voice recognition tombstone. Let's try to answer the Riddler's enigma. Important person who benefits from feudal rights, nine letters. But Landgrave is the name of my cat. I wonder if Granny must have given it milk. Let's try Landgrave. Password correct. Welcome back from the afterlife, Sir Riddler. Hooray! A little hatch opened up. It contains a sock with patches. It's wrapped in some sort of tinfoil. Of course, it's a thermal sock to keep feet warm in winter and fresh in the summer. The look of these ice cream sundaes is really inviting. I'll take one. Let's see, which flavor inspires me the most? I put the sundae in the sock, which should maintain the cup at the right temperature and prevent the ice cream from melting. Let's see if Jazz's ice cream is the solution for this puzzle. I put it in that sort of drain with holes. Oh, it's melting! But the melted ice cream goes into the drain and the weight dial reads seven ounces, while the other beside it is turning. The second dial reads 260 calories. I thought this way. It's opening! Mine! I remove the pins. You never know if a woman on the other side of the world might stop feeling back pain. Look at that. At the ends of the three pins, there are two keys attached. Strange. Even if I'm not a math genius, things just don't add up. Huh. I quite like this doll, but maybe the other key is still inside it. Let's search better. Here it is, the third pin key. Let's see if this key works. The key fits, but it stayed stuck in the lock. Whoa! Roy! Are you trying to give me a stroke? I thought the mighty knights were fearless. Why do you cover your face? Do you suffer from acne? You haven't scared me. I, I was just a little distracted, and I finished puberty long ago. I wear the helmet to increase the mystique around me. Enough small talk! You promised me a game of Matoko! Mm, Alright, but explain to me further how this game of macabre tortures works. Well, it's very simple. He who starts must invent the crime committed on the basis of which the opponent imposes the suitable torture. The torture must be connected to the crime, otherwise you don't get any bonus points. And if you repeat a torture or crime already mentioned, the points go to the opponent. Are you ready yet, or do you want to think for a while? Yes, let's start. Can't wait to begin. Fine, let me begin. Fight. You find yourself in the Garlic Griffin Tavern, comfortably drinking a jug of Whiskrog. All of a sudden, I arrive and accidentally hit the table, spilling your entire drink. What would your reaction be? You didn't do it on purpose. I forgive you. Uh, no, Rusty, the game doesn't work like that. I explained it to you. You should have answered this way. D 
Did you get it? By doing so, you earn 100 points, which in this case go to me. Now it's your turn to commit a crime, and my turn to inflict on you an exemplary torture. You're enjoying a picnic on top of Ascension Mountain. When I arrive, I'll make my fat horse Arthur take a massive dump on your checkered blanket. I'd spread your nostrils horribly with some pincers and then violently throw you against an old desiccated tree, leaving your helm stuck in the den of 3,000 deadly green shield bugs. I get on my feet and I beat you up. Is this game gonna go on much longer? Okay, let's see who earned more points. I win! <laughs> Thanks for the training. I'm going back to my store, but if you should pass from the temple, come find me and I'll give you a red nylon web for free. Well, see you later, mighty knight. But where did he go? There's a small tag with Dr. Snaggletooth written on it. This is the right coffin, but this doctor doesn't have a name. Whatever. Let's open it and see what we find. It's shocking. He has front teeth that resemble those of a shark. All right. Let's take a deep breath and snag him. Good. Whew. All right, let's get out of here. It kind of lacks air in here. Let's see if the dentures of Dr. Snaggletooth work on these metal chains. The dentures broke. The pin keeping the jaw together fell out. Well, no harm done. It shredded the locks, freeing access to the panel. Now let's see what important thing is hiding in this tomb. It contains a remote control and a paper airplane. At the bottom of the tombstone, I see a red button with writing on it that says, press me. What should I do? Do I press it? I press it! Whoa! I better get out of the way! Whoa! A missile tomb! But what? Wow! <laughs> a super secret passage! That's why this helm has horns. They serve as an antenna for the fishbone remote control. What's here? Clever one, that farrier. Looking at it against the light, I can see some words. Let's try to open it. There's some writing in Proto-English that I can translate in real time. Oh, adventurer who made it this far, beware and don't go further. Once this line is crossed, the desecration of his body will have nefarious consequences. I'm not sure I correctly translated the sentence, beware and don't go further. On second thought, it could be translated as, you were good, you deserve a medal. Underneath are other writings like magic formulas. But I'd say I can throw this paper away. They're just incomprehensible words, after all. Look where they put that coffin. Now I understand the reason for the noxious stink that Macho Turtle smells of sometimes. It's not the trolls, but the sewer. That doesn't mean the trolls don't stink, of course. The steps are unstable. If I put my 180 pounds in the wrong spot, I fall down the cliff below and... 
Goodbye, Rusty. There's a concealed switch here. Now I can see the steps very well, but they're all eaten by woodworms. Their maintenance has not performed for a long time, and... <laughs> Ta-da! These pin keys seem to be the right size. Let's try. Ah! The lid has literally flown away, taking the pin keys with it. Well, that's okay. I don't think I will need them anymore, and... Ah! Where's the head? The skull's missing from the skeleton! It's opened, and the old guardian has no head. They sure have a bizarre way of burying themselves out here. Just the fact that the coffin was put in a sewer pipe says a lot. And that, you know, at the risk of repeating myself, he has no head! I can finally take the free climbing tools of the old guardian. I'd say I can go back to the cemetery now, even if this stink will be stuck in my helm for a couple of days. Blech. Hi, Macho. What are you doing down here? Were you curious if I was able to find the tomb of the old guardian? Did you have any doubt? It was a bit laborious, but in the end... Forgive me, Rusely. Ouch! My name is Rusty Steelney, and... I'm in heaven, together with a beautiful angel. Frankie Colander, I finally found you. This time you won't get away with it. Frankie who? Uh, are you maybe getting me confused with your ex? Because if that's the case, then I'm definitely Frankie what you just said. Actually, your voice is different than Colander's, and looking at you more closely, you don't resemble him. I was wrong, but nevertheless, you're in a lot of trouble. You know what you just did? What are you doing down here? When I opened my eyes and saw you earlier, I thought I was in heaven, because I didn't think that much beauty could exist in the world. Maybe I went too far with the romantic stuff. I'd say to knock it off. This is the realm of Manzasun, not the realm of Harmony. Glad to make your acquaintance. I can't say the same thing, given what you just did. Nice armor, though. Even if that rusty knee ruins everything. Wow, that's cold. Well, I was viciously beaten up by the guardian of the cemetery, Macho Turtle. I thought we'd become friends. He was nice enough to reveal some hints to finding the grappling hooks, and... What are you talking about? Macho Turtle? Grappling hooks? The only guardian I know is Bill Undergrave, the guardian of the Mountain of the Ascension. No, really. Majo is a big guy. He's got a, a sharp halberd that cuts cans, and, and he goes around in his underwear. In underwear, you say? Were they black, by any chance? Yeah, I think so. I, do you like black underwear? I also have some, customized with my name written on the waistband. Okay, I get it. You aren't interested. All my stuff! The stacks of doubloons, the newspaper, the fishbone remote control, the doll, he took everything! He only left my lucky charm, the diary with my notes, and the free climbing tools. Alright, let's start again. <clears throat> my name is Rusty Steelney, and... Your name is Rusty? Alright, Rusty. Don't try to be clever and tell me what really happened down there. You're already in big trouble. Me and my horse Spoffy were camping at the foot of the mountain when we were seized by a sudden attack of sleep. I don't know if you noticed, but it's always dark in your realm. And after two days that feel like night, you can get dozy. Anyway, after I fell asleep, I had strange memories of an unusual guy named Macho Turtle. 
of talking tombstones, fridge tombs, and automatic stone gates. And here I am. I woke up on this unstable runway. Can I go now? Hmm. So you solved all the farrier's puzzles while sleepwalking? Sure. My brain is so well developed that when I don't listen to it, it comes to life and does things behind my back. Archers! All right, all right. Maybe it doesn't exactly go that way. Actually, I don't exist. I'm the spirit of the old guardian, and I wander around in my mortal remains until someone repairs the injustices I suffered. But maybe who can help me, lady with a kind soul, by burying my spoils near the idle lamp? All right. Do you also want a nice polish to your armor? No, thanks. I don't need that. It's, uh, phantom armor. Water and soap will pass through it. I understand. So, if I tell my archers to fire a dozen arrows, they will pass right through you, right? I'm really curious to try. Okay, stop. I surrender. You got me. I don't think I'll ever tell the reason I'm here. It's too classified to reveal it to the first unknown person. All right, then, since you cannot be useful to me. Archers! If you put it like that, I recant my last choice. I see you can't be fooled in any way. You're really a smart one. Actually, I'm a relic hunter. I became aware of a precious gold relic in this realm, and I was looking for it, but then... One, the elevator was broken. Two, the old guardian was dead. Three, I ran out of breath mints. So, instead of breath mints, I adapted to endure my breath down here. For points one and two, I made a great effort to find these tools which allowed me to reach my destination, brilliantly dealing with the tombstone's puzzles. And after all that, what happens to me? My new friend stuns me for I don't know what reason, and when I wake up, I'm in danger of beheading for I don't know what other reason. Let's say I believe you, Knight Steel Knee. Even if that is maybe the weirdest and most twisted story I have ever heard. Oh, finally. Thanks, uh... What did you say your name was? I didn't say. You can call me Captain of the Royal Guards of the Realm of Manzasun. As soon as we saw the signal, we stopped drinking our tea and rushed here. What signal, Captain of the Royal Guards of the Realm of Manzasun? The signal flare. Honestly, we didn't expect that. We didn't even remember its meaning. We had to call the realm's customer service line to ask what we had to do. Now that it has happened, I don't dare to imagine the consequences. We must strengthen the guard so that the smugglers can't also take. But I'm saying too much. Listen, Captain of the Royal Guards of the Realm of Mansasun, I didn't want to cause so much inconvenience to your royal paranoia. Can I make it up by offering you a drink while we wait for the lift to be repaired? You still didn't get it, do you? Look at the coffin. The coffin is... empty! The headless skeleton of the old guardian! It's disappeared! The skeleton of the old guardian is gone. How is that possible? I just... Oh, now I begin to understand. It was tied to the coffin because it was contaminated with Liam, the substance that makes the corpse levitate? Well, maybe if we hurry. I wonder how you managed to solve the puzzles of the farrier. For all this time, the adepts of the witch didn't even come close, and you... Never mind. Witch? What witch? The only woman I've seen since I've got here is you. Not that you look like a witch. Well, on the contrary, even if you don't have an easy temper... It... Listen, Rusty, you already caused enough trouble. Accept the suggestion and go back to your realm. You are way over your head here. All right, but first I'd like to make it up by inviting you to dinner tonight. Or today. I mean, it's always dark anyway. Archers, get out of here. I'll take that as and I'll think about it. Then, see you soon.
captain of the Royal Guards of the Realm of Montesun. Right, after my new conquest, I'd say I can continue my mission. She'll be busy retrieving those four insignificant bones anyway. Good. And now, how do I get off this unstable platform? If only it would stop swinging, that would be a good start. Fantastic. The runway listened to me. All right, runway. Now, turn into a magic carpet and fly me to the top of the mountain. Hmm. It... Doesn't work. Yo, thanks. Let's start climbing. I hope I don't sweat too much. I didn't bring my moist towelettes. Resolutely, Rusty began the arduous climb. It's hard work, but I'm close now. Ow! Oh, I'm fine. Quite fine. With renewed uh. determination, our hero resumed the steep climb without giving up. Almost without realizing it, he had brilliantly concluded the second chapter of his adventure. Thank you.